Jerry Mack has left for the NFL. Tennessee has lost Jerry Mack to the NFL, so we probably need to reroute a little bit. Well, no, uh, we don't need to reroute because we had the right route on Saturday when I wrote about it. So uh, we'll continue the route. Uh, Okay, who do you go get? And can this be a good thing? Sorry, Jerry Mack, man, uh, if you're watching, nothing personal, but – I mean, really, as a running backs coach, what did you bring to the table? You were not an elite recruiter. So where does Tennessee go from here? I wrote over the weekend, Montario Hardesty. Then on our message board, I shared where Travis said, call Trooper Taylor. Those are my first two calls. Trooper Taylor back in the SEC. To give you a little bit of background on Trooper, it's been a while at Arkansas State. His wife was getting his doctorate, and he got it to coach his son. A lot of people think there are NCAA issues, so he sent it, they sent him to Arkansas State. That's not the, how the NCAA works. It's not regular. It's not, what, what do they call it? Deregulation or soccer? What's it called when they move you oh, down? Uh, oh, relegation. 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 They didn't relegate him to Arkansas State. You're either allowed to coach or you're not. So he. By the way, relegation is going to be college football's model in about ten years. Book it. Yeah, I, th- I think you're right. Actually, I thought it was silly when you brought it up a few months ago, but I think you're right. But anyway, so the, it's not like he got relegated to Arkansas State. He wanted to spend more time with his family. Now he's at Texas A&M. Could you go hire him away? I don't think you have any ties to Trooper Taylor right now, and he's on Elko's staff. So he probably has some ties to him from the times at Duke. Listen, Trooper wants to go in the best job for Trooper. But uh, as Derek says, Jerry Mack was a good running back coach. If you ask me, he's replaceable. So, yes, I will call him. Um, But uh, Travis says call him, get him on the show tomorrow. They will do it. They probably would. But um, I went realistic. And my replacement, because Trooper just signed with AM, and uh, if he made a lateral move, there'd probably be a buyout. I went with Montario Hardesty. As a matter of fact, as much as I love Trooper, and I think he's an elite recruiter and a great, great underrated coach, not just a running backs coach. He's essentially a pseudo offensive coordinator. The question I would have, twofold, would he leave? But would Josh Heupel really want a guy who doesn't run his style of offense? Is that too many cooks in the kitchen, Caleb? But it's brought to you by Don Self. Don Self is your State Farm agent in the greater Chattanooga area. Call him because Don Self knows that customer service still matters. And when that claim comes in, you won't be thinking about that couple of bucks you spent on getting the best price. Go State Farm agent Don Self, 423-396-2126. 423-396-2126, donself.net, donself.net. So in this case, with Montario Hardesty being not the same strong personality in the room, and I mean that as a compliment in the right situation, and having ties in the Carolinas and having coached at South Carolina so you'd hurt your opponent, Caleb, I would I could make a strong argument, Montario Hardesty over Trooper Taylor, who I think is a very good recruiter. But in this situation, I could make an argument over Montario Hardesty. And who doesn't love seeing, as long as his name's not uh, uh, Chuck Smith, who doesn't love seeing a former ball come to coach at Tennessee? No, you're right. There's a little bit more... There's actually a little bit more connection with Trooper in Tennessee where he would be a better fit with Josh Heupel's offense than I think you realize. Uh, When he was at Arkansas State, Dave, you know, he worked with Glenn Ellerby, who was at Arkansas State at the time. And uh, in addition to working with Glenn Ellerby, Blake Anderson, who was the head coach, is now at Utah State. And his offensive coordinator is Anthony Tucker, who worked with Josh Heupel when they were at Utah State. So they actually have similar offensive principles. He also worked under Gus Malzahn. For uh, for four years, who has his own or actually, I'm sorry, it was two because then Gus Malzahn left for another job. But still, he worked under Gus Malzahn for two years. So Trooper has a certain level of understanding. And here's the honest truth. One Trooper Taylor, here's a guy who just had bad luck because he was rising the coaching ranks and would have been an offensive coordinator in two or three years if he didn't bolt Tennessee when he did, honestly, I think. Um, But I don't really think he had bad luck. I think he went to Arkansas State because 
that's where his son could play. His son wasn't good enough to play. I really think it was a family decision. Now, I could be being lied to, but Troopers never lied to me. Okay, I, I actually would believe that. I think had Trooper not done that and had tried to stay on the coaching track, he'd be an offensive coordinator now. And here's here's the big deal for this. Well, and his wife's like a psychologist, and I know she wanted her doctorate. So she was able to get it there, too. They, they had a psychology degree. Anyway. Okay. So Trooper, here's the thing that I don't know if Monterio brings that Trooper would bring, Dave. And this is a big one. And I say this is a big one because I have reservations about Josh Heupel. Trooper can evaluate talent. Trooper can evaluate talent extremely well. And there is some, and by the way, there's something about it. Cause you see this with Rodney Garner. What are the unique things about the, you know, those longtime sec assistant coaches who have bounced around sec schools, but they're longtime sec assistants. Yes. They're one unique school. They're, they're almost all great at evaluating talent once they have experience in that, in, in doing that. And I like Ron Taylor Hardesty is an sec guy, but I mean, Trooper Taylor, that guy scout that I, I'm surprised he hasn't been a, hired as a lead scout for an NFL team. Honestly, I'm with you, brother. Man. I'm with you. I think he's fantastic. Uh, portions of the program brought to you by the hemp house. We're going to get an update on our poll question. Hemp house, the premier hemp dispensary online with a wide variety, great selection and strict standards to ensure you only receive the best CBD or Delta products. Hemp house chat with two T's.com Hemp house chat with two T's. Dot com. So there you go. Coming up on the program, boy, Alabama's falling apart. And I love me some uh, uh, Trey Smith for sure. But uh, well, let's update the poll question before we get back to the Trooper Montario talk. Um, Jawan Jennings, 65% of the vote. If you could have somebody back for one more season, Trey Smith too. Jennings loses the Super Bowl. Uh, Smith uh, wins the Super Bowl. Second already. Uh, I, 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 with the hardesty and Taylor's, I guess a former of all, he's not a former of all player, but he's, he's former of all in some shape, form or fashion to me, Caleb, that, um, that would have very little factor. I would just go for the best coach. I don't believe in hiring coaches just because they have a tie in. If it works out, that's great. If I'm completely 50, 50 on one coach over the other. And a guy tells me. I want to be on your staff forever because you're at Tennessee. Then that's a factor. But a list of factors, it's probably seven, eight, nine, ten on the list. Okay. What about this? You want your future offensive coordinator? You know, say Halsley leaves or so, you know whatever. You know, has yeah, the, the, the again, that's out. not. I mean, that has really not been true. For, is he going to learn this entire offense? Don't you have to be groomed like Golish he, was in this offense? I, I think he learned the principles of the offense at Arkansas State working under Blake Anderson. I think that's where he actually – a lot of the principles are similar to what Josh Heupel runs. Um, okay. All right. And so I'll, I think I'll, he has – I'll with this afternoon and see if he has interest. Yeah, and, and also, aren't some of the principles of Heupel's offense – I mean, they're different, but don't they have simil some similar principles to what Gus Malzahn runs? Uh, yeah, and besides that, Trooper – have you ever heard me use my style substance – um, conversation with two people, Trooper and uh, Br Bruce Pearl. So, like, some people are style and not substance, right? They look flashy, right. but they really aren't great at what they do. Give me an ex give me a coaching example of that. Ed Orgeron. Okay. The guy's got so much energy. Thank <laughs> like you. Thank you. that, I, I, I you could give me all day, and I couldn't think of a better one. But <laughs> substance wise, as a head coach, he, he ain't got it. You know, he's a good defensive line coach and he is a good recruiter. I'm going to tell you, Bruce Pearl and Trooper Taylor are the two guys that I've met in my life that have a whole lot of style and every bit the substance to back it up. Every bit yeah. the substance to back it up. And that's pretty unusual because they got a lot of flair. They got a lot of style. The kids call it the, the ish, the charisma or the is or something like that but they've got it but they back it up with 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 true substance they're the people they coach get better chuck smith gets worse former ball defensive line coach chuck smith he also was coaching under Derek dooley yeah but they got i'm not sure there was a lot of stability there but anyway um that's a whole different conversation google uh chuck smith don't do it now but Chuck Smith 
uh, press conference, Neyland Stadium. Oh, I remember that.